goes on there, just keep on giving after they sing it. Yeah, like this short? Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm angry. So guys, what we're doing here is uh, we're going to make a, a really quick lean-to shelter. Uh, instead of using a lot of the hardwoods, we're going to just qu uh, quickly chop some of the softer p uh, palms down. And that will uh, give us a really nice waterproof or watertight shelter for the night. We've got the skeleton of the lean-to up and now we've actually taken palm leaves from the suita palm. And we're going to use that as our roofing or our shingling to keep this, this shelter watertight. And it's a really easy method. It's kind of like you're, you're putting thatching on a wigwam, but much simpler. And if you don't have time for a really elaborate weave, this is an excellent method. You literally do under, around, and then tuck. And it's that simple. We showed you the, the actual thatching on top of the shelter. And we're actually going to show you that this is the actual palm, the suita palm, that we're harvesting these, these palm leaves from. And it's real simple. I mean, as you can see, all you got to do is <laughs> a quick snap. I mean, you can get as many as you like, and they're absolutely rampant around here. One thing that you want to be mindful of when you're out here is that there's a look-alike to this plant, and there's actually these three-inch thorns. Now, on this one, this is the one you want to harvest. So there aren't the three-inch thorns on here, but if you just come with me over here for just a second, I'll show you those thorns on the underbelly. So you can get a little contrast there. Find the blade. To harvest a suita palm, all you have to do is get a nice bunch of them at the base and one fell sweep. And you're done. <sighs> Alright guys, so this next step uh, is what we're going to do is actually skip uh, a row or two. We actually skipped on this one two rows onto the third. And we're going to continue with our original technique of wrapping around, under, and then tucking. And you really want to make sure that these leaves are all facing the same direction. You don't want any belly showing. And that'll make for a much more secure and watertight structure. All right, so this is our finished lean-to. A uh, very simple shelter. We didn't build any kind of raised bed, anything along those lines. Really what we're trying to focus here on, on this trip specifically as Sigma 3 instructors is not so much going through the basics, which is some of the stuff that you'll learn if you decide to take this course. You know, this group is, is fairly seasoned. And what we want to focus on is, you know, some, some ad more advanced bushcraft skills that we wouldn't necessarily be able to practice in the states in our area. And how can we take these weaving methods and apply them to, you know, materials that we might find in the swamps or, you know, other parts of the country and use them for things like our jungle hooches. Um, and, you know, even like if we found ourselves in a swampy area and we wanted to thatch a wiki up, we can take these same principles and apply them universally to a lot of different shelters. And that's our main focus here is, is you know, level three and uh, level one Sigma instructors is to just get some of that advanced bushcraft skills from the Rama Indians.